The weekend meeting portion of Hourglass has been designed to make the public talk coordinator's job as easy as possible. Because the weekend meeting section of Hourglass is so big, we're going to discuss one section at a time. We'll start with the section that deals with congregations and speakers. As you see here, we have two congregations in the system currently. Our congregation, the North-South congregation, as indicated by the little home icon, as well as the East-West congregation. By clicking on either of these, we reveal some of the details for the congregation, including its current meeting time. Also to the right, we see the different speakers currently in the congregation. By clicking on any given speaker, we are shown the information for the given speaker, including all the number of talks that he gives. If you want to add or subtract a talk for this speaker, we simply select the drop-down menu, select the talk that we want to add, and then click Save. If we wish to remove a talk, we simply click on the X and click Save. How do we add a congregation? Click the plus sign next to Congregations. This will reveal a dialog box. Inside here, we click on the Search button. This takes us to JW.org. Here, we can find the congregation that we want to add. It's important to do this so that we have accurate information and consistent records. Let's pick a congregation here in South Carolina. Here, the Yamasee congregation. Click the Share button. Click the Copy button. And then we can go back to Hourglass. Paste the information into the box. Click Save. And we see now the congregation has been added. By selecting this congregation now, we see it has the current meeting time and location of the Kingdom Hall. You'll also notice that it puts the name of the congregation there as it is defined at jw.org. However, you do not have to use that particular name. For instance, if you do not want USA in the name, you can click the Edit button and simply remove or add whatever you'd like. Click Save, and you now have your custom name. Let's take it a little further and remove the state. If there are any specific notes that you'd like to add in about the congregation, you can do that in the Notes section. To add speakers to this congregation, simply select the plus sign next to Speakers. Here you can add an individual speaker, Once added, you can add in more details, such as his appointment status, his email address, phone number, and other things. Additionally, you would add the speaker's talks. Let's add a few. Adding speakers one at a time, though, can be a little tedious. So Hourglass allows you to add them in batches. Click the plus sign. Click Multiple. You can click here to download a template that can be opened up in a spreadsheet program like Excel. There you can add in all of your speakers and when you're done, find the file that you want. In this case, I'll use this public speakers CSV file and then click Upload. Some congregations may send the talk numbers to you in a comma separated list. Hourglass can handle this too. Simply click on the text underneath the talk numbers. Simply paste the numbers in that they give you. Click OK and Hourglass will adjust accordingly. Click Save and you're all done. Another thing to note in this section of Hourglass is that speakers for your local congregation have to be dealt with differently. While you can edit the talk numbers for a local speaker, you'll notice that you cannot edit the other information here for the speaker. This information is handled by the secretary. For more information on that, see the video for adjusting privileges. Let's add another congregation. Let's click on the plus sign, click search. Let's select the Springfield congregation in Georgia. Here we'll get their share information. We click copy, go back to Hourglass, paste it in, and click Save. We now see the Springfield congregation in the list. We also see that there are two arrows next to the Springfield congregation name. This indicates that they also use Hourglass. 
the Springfield congregation will receive a notification that you are wishing to trade with them. If they accept, a trade relationship is established between the two congregations. This will allow easy access to speaker information. They will automatically be able to see your current speaker information, and you will have instant access to their current speaker information. There will be no need to enter information for each individual speaker or exchange files. It will always be up to date. Here we see another congregation that uses Hourglass has added our congregation to their roster in Hourglass. Here, Hourglass has sent us a notification indicating that this other congregation would like to exchange speakers with us. If we click Accept, the link between the congregations has been established, and this is indicated by the blue arrows. To assign an outgoing talk, select the Outgoing tab at the top of the weekend meeting portion of Hourglass. In this case, we'll assign a talk for September 18th. Select the plus sign to add an individual talk assignment. Select the speaker, the congregation, and the talk number. Hourglass, of course, allows you to have multiple outgoing talks on any given week. Simply select the plus sign again to add another talk. To delete an assignment, simply select the menu on the right and click Delete Outgoing Talk. To move an assignment, simply click the menu, the Move button, select the date you wish to move it to, in this case we'll move it to September 4th, and the assignment will be moved. To send a notification to the speakers that they have an outgoing talk assignment, select the menu at the top and click Send Assignments. To assign an incoming speaker, simply select the plus sign on the week that you wish to schedule it. Select the congregation. Select either the speaker or the talk. Hourglass will display a list of all the speakers for this congregation so that you may choose. Then, Hourglass will display all the talks given by this particular speaker. Notice that it gives you the last given date. This is not necessarily the date that this speaker gave it, but the last time that the congregation heard this talk. With this information, you can make the best selection possible. However, if you do not know which speaker you want, but maybe you do know which talk you want, again, select the congregation, select the talk number. This will be a list of talks given by the entire congregation. Pick the number. Hourglass will then show you a list of speakers that give this talk. In this case, we only have one. Let's try it again. We'll select the congregation. We'll select the talk number. Here, Hourglass has determined that two speakers give this talk. This has made our job a little easier. Now we simply determine which speaker we want. Let's say we know which congregation we're going to schedule here, but we don't yet know the speaker or the talk number. Simply click the plus sign, select the congregation, select To be determined for the speaker, and click Save. This will essentially be a placeholder for the week. Later, when the speaker and talk has been determined, simply adjust the schedule. Let's schedule October. Here we see we have a circuit overseer's visit on the week of October 23rd. However, we do want his talk information. If we click on the settings button, here we are given a number of settings specific to the weekend meeting. We can enter here the circuit overseer's name, as well as the title of his talk. What if we have a special circumstance where the speaker coming is not someone who fits in the normal congregation scenario? Maybe it's a special Bethel speaker. Well, to handle this situation, we have created what's called the other speaker. Simply click the plus sign, select the other congregation, and click Save. Then go to the settings section, and here you can enter the speaker's name. Here we see the other speaker is now entered. This feature is designed to be something for edge cases and should not be used for everyday speakers. 
Another duty that the public talk coordinator often has is assigning the chairman, the watchtower reader, and the hospitality. To make an assignment, you can either select them one at a time, or you can use the autofill feature. In the menu at the top, click autofill. All the assignments have automatically been filled in for the month, taking into consideration previous assignments. To send a notification to these individuals, select the menu and select Send Assignments. One of the major roles of the public talk coordinator is to coordinate with other congregations. This means exchanging speaker data with those other congregations. This can be done in a number of ways. The Export Speakers section allows us to export our speaker list for the congregation in one of three formats as a text file, as a PDF, or as an hourglass file. By clicking the hourglass button, you get an hourglass file. This is simply the same information that is in the PDF file, but in a computer readable format. This file can be emailed to the other congregation, and they in turn, using hourglass, can upload it here in the import speaker data section. From time to time, we need to send correspondence between other talk coordinators or the other individual speakers. The upcoming section helps us with this. If we select the East-West congregation, here we are presented with a list of outgoing and incoming trades that we have with the East-West congregation. We can simply copy it to the clipboard and paste it into an email. The same can be done for the speakers. Here's a list of our local speakers. Simply click the copy button and paste it into an email. 